how this works. This is Black Shortfall. I'm sorry for my long absence. I'm so busy and tired. But now let's talk again about Jurassic World Evolution 2. Sorry if this uh, very late and most of you guys already know about this, but I just just bring it up. So there are a lot of new things in Jurassic World Evolution 2. This news is from Game Informer website. I put the link in the description below. It's written by Andrew Reiner on June 21, 2021. So let's take a look what Andrew says in his article and I will analyze it carefully. First, the maps are much bigger and a lot of space. The dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2 can create their own territories, but the species could have conflict to claim their territories. This including same or maybe different species. Too many dinosaurs in the same species, I mean space, or enclosure are not the best option for this time. Not sure, maybe different species could attack each other, not just the carnivores but the herbivores too. Let's take some example. Imagine you have one huge enclosure and you have two groups of different species. Let's take Nesotoceratops group and Ankylosaurus group. Both groups can live together and they will claim any space in the enclosure as their territory. If the group of Ankylosaurus claim a space and the group of Nesotoceratops also wanted the same space as already claimed by the Ankylosaurus, they could be attacking each other to claim the territory, even they were herbivores. Another example, you have a group of tops and one stegosaurus. Then the stegosaurus join it with the tops. It doesn't make the stegosaurus as the group's alpha because it different species. Not like in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, where a different species could be an alpha for the pack or group, not even first Jurassic World Evolution. The stegosaurus could be a part of the triceratops or rejected by the triceratops. That's just my example, I could be wrong. Uh, so you can just kind of create different species and place them in the same enclosure. This is more challenging. Players should acknowledge first before create them or it will turn into a disaster. Remember, this is Jurassic World Evolution 2. We're in different area and not in Muertes Archipelago anymore. There will be more than 75 species including land, marine and flying reptiles. Seems likely the most of source confirmed to have in this game. Also, there will be more skins and colors for the dinosaurs. So players can choose different skins and colors to create the majestic species looks beautiful. Dino DNA is still the same obtained from fossils, but players can tweak the DNA to enhance social behaviors make them more resilient to disease, less aggressive to ranger, and more. That's look unnatural, playing with genetic codes and controlling them as we want. Oh my gosh, now I'm Dr. Ian Malcolm. <laughs> it's just game, right? So that's cool features. Now you not only incubating one egg at a time, but you can now generate a clutch of eggs and release them as one group. Well, that's new. This feature not happening in first Jurassic World Evolution, but happening in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis on photographs mission, if I remember. Only that one, but other gameplay, it's not happening. 
Once you release the dinosaurs from the hatchery, the dinosaurs not just settle but explore the area and make their territory. This system is dynamic, says you both. It's building up as the dinosaurs walk around this enclosure. As the triceratops move, it will move its territory in a new direction as the old territory it created long ago starts to decay. It's working toward things it needs, water, forest, and ground fiber. It's not just about that, but also the territory of other dinosaurs in the area. Sometimes the species are complementary and they live together harmoniously, but other times the species will have conflicts. If there's an overlap in their territories, there may be behaviors be between those two dinosaurs. They will try to build their territory to their size. It's a dynamic system that puts a realistic connection between dinosaurs. This also means a species will rest together, socialize in more ways and act more like herd in their defined space. There will be landscaping tools to edit the environment as the dinos needs or to make a beautiful environment, but I think this feature already have in first Jurassic World Evolution. Maybe there will be a change on new tools. There are change on herbivore feeder. Herbivore uh, feeds on foliage. And that's interesting. Uh, hopefully, uh, the foliage matching with the environment. Something great for the flying reptiles aviary is you can customize it. You can determine the size of the aviary, add water, foliage, trees, and edit the terrain uh, inside the aviary. But the flying species can break through the aviary if their number is over or size of the aviary is too small. They will fly around the park even after the guests. Another great news is raptors now hunt in packs. This one not happened in first Jurassic World Evolution, but Jurassic Park Operation Genesis have it. I guess the developers added a better AI for these behaviors. New structures is paleomedical facility. It's for treat injured dinosaurs. This medical facility is wide and has a large fence in area behind it where dinosaurs can be treated. It has a helicopter and land vehicle, mobile vet unit to treat the dinosaurs in the field. Because the dinosaur can get sick or injured on the huge enclosure, it's really hard to know and spot if they were sick or not. But thankfully, there are new radio paths to keep monitoring the dinosaurs. Not just new features on the dinosaur structures and terrain, but also applied to gas. Gas mode is divided into four categories, adventure, standard, nature, and luxury. They will gravitate to area, areas that they seek the most. Another exciting feature, attraction and amenities are fully customized. It's just a best structure, but can transform into an aquarium, bowling alley, cinema, arcade, spa, etc. The designs are so customizable. The facade, roof decoration, entrance, entrance location, signage, and immediate surrounding ground can be changed with a number of preset options. For the ground, you can have trees, dinosaur skeletons, flags, and more. The color of all the items can also be altered. This is new things in Jurassic World Evolution 2. I think Frontier made 
to resolve solution to customizable uh, because they're inspired from Plan 2. Seems like the gameplay more challenging than the first game, but we now allow to pause time and speed up time, so we can continue building the park and try the town source without worries if it too much text to do because we can't stop the time. We can, we can stop the time and handle everything carefully. One of new threats to the northern regions is a snowstorm which covers the ground in snow and create problems all across the park such as losing power so there will be new weather if you haven't watched my previous video about new action weather speculation you should watch it I guess snowstorm is confirmed to happen in this game. Hopefully, uh, the dust storm should be edited in this game. Uh, for the last, uh, this one is uh, the dinosaurs that Andrew saw. It's uh, first there's a uh, Acrocanthosaurus, and then Allosaurus, Amergosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Baryonyx, Brachiosaurus. Camarasaurus, Nesitoceratops, uh, Pteranodon, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, and Tyrannosaurus Rex, of course. That's all so far that Andrew saw. Well, uh, I hope there will be new dinosaurs to see in the future. Uh, that's all my new, I mean, my, that's all my news about. Uh, I took from Game Informer. Uh, I will continue on my next videos. I took from uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 forums. Uh, I think you guys already see that, and I will make a video of it. I will talk about it. And for the last, maybe I will do a recap from last streaming of Jurassic World Evolution 2 hopefully there will be something new there and it's really interesting to discuss about it and talk about it I'm so glad there are uh, new features new things in uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 and thank you for Andrew uh, give this information uh, from Game Informer and yeah that's all I can say now so I'll see you in the next episode uh, news from the forums and about uh, feature focus and I'll see you in my next videos of Virazine